Here's a great fake pot and run by Billy Atkins. The play covers 55 yards and for a time puts Buffalo right back in the ball game. But old Blander continues to riddle the Bills' pass defense. This one, to Charlie Hannigan, covers 80 yards all told. And this pass, good for 68 yards to Bill Groman, Puts the icing on the cake. Houston wins 28 to 16. In the second period, the Bills trail by two touchdowns. Quarterback Johnny Green making his regular season debut, fires to Albert DeBenio. And the fleet Bills flanker outraces defensive back Fred Williamson into the end zone. Next, Green hits Glenn Bass. And the play is blown dead on the Raiders' six-yard line. Two plays later, Dewey Bowling takes a pitch out and battles his way in from the five for the lead Bills touchdown. Margin does not stand up. This 55-yard pass and run play, Tom Flores to pull back Alan Miller, wraps it up for Oakland as they win a well-deserved 31-22 victory. You have to see it to believe this first Dallas touchdown. Davidson to Johnny Robinson, back to Davidson. And Cotton, after running around, fired. 52 yards to Frank Jackson for the score. In the third period, Buffalo on tracks. Here, Johnny Green threads the needle to Monty Crockett to the Dallas three. Dewey Bowling scores from the two. Defense is destined to play a big part in the Bills come from behind victory. Cotton Davidson in the pocket, fires a pass, and Ralph Felton picks it off. The linebacker for the Bills has run out inside the Dallas 25. A few plays later, Buffalo is down inside the Dallas 5. And Ray Carlton takes it over. Very late in the ball game, the Bills wrap it up on this somewhat bizarre play. Punter Billy Atkins gets off a beauty. Abner Haynes takes it on the seven, fakes, is hit, fumbled. The ball rolls loose into the end zone, and Billy Shaw chases it down for a Buffalo touchdown. At Denver a week later, the Bills have to come from behind to win. Johnny Green throws 34 yards to DeBenio. And Buffalo leads 10 to 7 at halftime. The teams trade field goals in the third period. 
But in the fourth period, here is Billy Atkins flying his defensive specialty. He intercepts at midfield. The interception sets up this unusual touchdown play. Johnny Green, the quarterback, can't find a receiver immediately, so he rolls out, and then he throws, and Perry Richards is on the fourth period. Buka passes to halfback J.C. Broadnax for 19 yards. grabs it with no one within 20 yards of it. That play broke the Broncos' heart. Claude Herring, the quarterback, late in the game, throws a desperation pass. Stu Barber grabs it for Buffalo and makes like a fullback as he bowls 21 yards for the insurance touchdown. Against the New York Titans, the Bills start fast. Green from his 40. Throws complete to Tommy Riley, who laterals to Dewey Bowling. Bowling gets all the way to the New York 11-yard line. Green to DeBenyon for the touchdown. The final play of the first period, and it's New York's turn. Al Doro is the quarterback. He rolls out, fires a sideline pass to Bob Wren. Wren makes a great catch and takes off. 67 yards for the touchdown. In the third period, M.C. Reynolds has replaced Johnny Green as quarterback. He fires. Dick Felt intercepts for the Titans. And tight ropes down the left sideline for the insurance score. New York holds on for a 21-14 victory. Bills proved to be a band of opportunists. On the first play after the interception, Green fires to an uncovered Dewey Bowling on the goal line. In the Oakland game, Art Baker finally comes of age as a great pro fullback. Watch him now as he takes the fake pitch handoff from Green and goes 19 yards right up the middle. Baker's number is called again. A big hole opens up on the right side, and Art picks up 10 more. And Baker goes in for the score, as the Bills earn a 26-21 triumph over the Raiders. game of the season against the San Diego Chargers, played at Balboa Stadium. The second play of the game. Another tremendous Baker run. 35 yards before he's dropped from behind. San Diego ultimately holds, but Bill Shockley kicks a 20-yard field goal to give Buffalo the lead. Late in the first period, a Jack Kemp pitch out is fumbled. Don McDonald, Bill's defensive halfback, scoops it up and 
rambles into the end zone for the touchdown. The Bills 10 to nothing lead at this point doesn't hold up too long. Early in the second period, Billy Atkins, punting from his end zone, gets away a long, spiraling boot. Rookie Keith Lincoln has it for San Diego on his own 45-yard line. He breaks loose, and away he goes. Things are destined to get worse before they get better. M.C. Reynolds back to pass. Face on deflects. Bill Hudson grabs the ball and pulls his way in for the lead charger score. In the second half, Jack Kemp, who did not have a good first half, partially atones with this long 44-yard pass to end Dave Kishore. That one beats the Bills, but they don't quit. M.C. Reynolds, a long, long pass. Duby behind the defender grabs it. He's finally run out of bounds on the 14-yard line. But the season ends as it began, on a note of abject frustration. Buffalo tries four times, but can't make it in. The gun sounds. And San Diego wins 28 to 10. 1961 is history. But better days are coming. Your Buffalo Bills will have a new look in 1962. Coach Lou Saban and his staff of assistants will work with a young but experienced nucleus of pro stars, plus an outstanding crop of rookies. Although the Bills can't, of course, guarantee a championship, they can and do promise an exciting and challenging season of play. So why not reserve your season tickets now for 1962? A $10 deposit on each ticket ordered will guarantee your reserved seats in any price a season ticket offer for children 16 years and younger. Their price is just $6. That's less than a dollar a game. Reservation forms will be made available before you leave. Order your season tickets soon and guarantee your seats at sports' most exciting show, American League Football, featuring your Buffalo Bills. <laughs>